back. This is our composter. It's four pallets, and then we have um, ventilation in the bottom via just PVC tubes, tubes with holes in them. I've recently have been looking into the Johnson Sioux bioreactor. And the premise behind that is you let your compost sit for a year and you don't ever turn it. The only thing you do is keep it moist. And as long as you have these holes going down to ventilation underneath the compost pile and you keep the compost within 12 inches of an airspace at all times, it'll never go anaerobic. Fungal activity will increase far more than any compost pile that gets turned. As you turn the compost, you're breaking all the fungal hypha and it has to constantly rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. And it's also compost you purchase has never been matured or cured properly. So with the Johnson Sioux bioreactor, it's allowed to mature fully over the course of a year. So it's a truly fungal dominant compost. And according to Dr. Johnson, he's been able to find fungal species that haven't, like have not been found. Like he's finding new fungal species and things that haven't been seen in a very long time, or fungal species you only find in old, old growth forests. And he's able to use this fully matured, broken down fungal dominant compost to coat seeds with, and that gets the fungal activity started immediately upon germination. They're able to rebuild soils just by top dressing with this compost. And it's a really fine, easy to spread compost. It's great for teas, I imagine, for foliar sprays. So this I'm not gonna let sit for a year. We're gonna build some real bioreactors because here in Massachusetts, it gets too cold to water as much as you need to water it. He, he's in New Mexico, he waters every day for a minute. I imagine here we'd probably just have to give a couple gallons one time a week, but we can't do that in the winter time. So for these seasonal compost bins, we're still going to have the holes in aeration because I love the idea of turning less, allowing more fungal activity to move in, and keeping these air pockets going. I thought that the compost pile would cool down with not having the bulk and the insulation to break down. But if you stick your arm down these air holes, there's plenty of heat coming off and you can feel the air moving. And this has been sitting here like this for a week now and it's still plenty hot. So I'm encouraged by this just initial experiment um, because I, I do get very concerned with big compost piles having anaerobic pockets so I think this is a killer way to work smarter, not harder, and we're going to continue experimenting and learning with it. So I'm going to leave this here for a couple more weeks, and then we'll break it down, we'll turn it, see what it's like. Um, I imagine there won't be any anaerobic pockets, which I often find in big compost piles. No matter how much you turn it, there's always something that kind of compacts down and loses oxygen. Um, so I'm hopeful we don't find that with this one. And if that's the case, we'll we'll keep doing this Johnson Sioux bioreactor hybrid setup we have going on. And then for this winter, we'll we'll build some for allowing stuff to get ready for next fall. So we'll be putting it down this time next year, hopefully.